Welcome back to our channel, guys. If you ask someone what tops their travel bucket list, chances are the Maldives is high up there. The Maldives is synonymous with crystal clear waters, insane marine life, and some of the most luxurious resorts you've ever seen. What people don't know is that you can actually experience the Maldives on somewhat of a budget. With over 1,200 islands making up the Maldives and over 130 different resorts, in this video, we will take you to three different types of accommodation in the Maldives. From your budget-friendly option, boutique luxury, and one of the most luxurious island resorts available. If you're new here, we are James and Alex. We travel full-time capturing places around the world and sharing these experiences with you. If you have a spare couple seconds, we'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. It helps us reach more amazing people like yourself and helps us continue our travels and keep making more of these videos. So without further delay, let's dive straight in with our first budget island experience. Fuller's do. Thulesdu is a locally inhabited island just 27 kilometers northeast of the country's capital of Malé. We made it in the morning! <laughs> we grabbed a speedboat leaving Malé, which only took 30 minutes and cost 30 US dollars per person each way, with the choice of four different departure times. You can always grab the local ferry for only $3, but it will take a little bit longer. Like many other islands in the Maldives, this place is surrounded by crystal clear turquoise waters and has the iconic white and sandy beaches. We just cannot get enough of how blue this water really is. It's so clear. You've only got to walk around the island for a short while and within minutes, you will spot the biggest stingrays you have ever seen. It is a locally inhabited island with a population of approximately 1,400 people and is most famous for being home to Maldives' best surf breaks, cokes and chickens. It's safe to say that Uthulazdu is a surfer's paradise. Surf can be done throughout the year, but it is best between the months of April and November. So there's approximately 50 different types of stays on this island, ranging from boutique B&Bs, guest houses, and even hotels. We stay for three nights at the Akiri Surf Retreat, which only costs 60 US dollars per night. So this is our very, very cute guest house that we are staying in on Thuluzdu Island. We were greeted by Firushan, who runs Akiri. He has a wealth of knowledge about the island and became more of a friend to us by the end of our stay. Most accommodations will help organise excursions and activities on the island, but also off the island too. Looks like it's just there. Yeah. One of our highlights of staying at Akiri was a special sandbank trip we took. Located not too far from the island is one of the most picturesque sandbanks literally in the middle of nowhere. And if you're lucky, you'll probably see dolphins on the way too. So this is our first excursion and we have taken a boat from Thurustu Island and it's taken about 30 minutes to reach this private sandbank and it is beautiful. It is paradise. The, the colour <laughs> of the ocean. But there's a reason why the Maldives is renowned to have such beautiful blue turquoisey oceans <laughs> and the rumours are true. It is so beautiful we even here. Saw a pod of dolphins on the way out oh. not only on the boat but when we were also sat on the shore as well it's just so special we spent the day here relaxing snorkeling and playing in the insane waters this is when we got our first real taste of what people rave about when they talk about the maldives well what a morning that was bikini beach or tourist beach are what the beaches on the local islands are called where tourists can essentially wear their bikinis Maldives is a Muslim country, so it is important to respect locals when you are visiting and ask your accommodation questions if you are unsure of anything. Now, if you are coming to the Maldives to kick back, relax and enjoy a beer or cocktail, then we have news for you. You can certainly kick back and relax and thullers do, but alcohol is strictly prohibited. You won't find any shops selling it and it is illegal to bring it onto the island. We never really thought about whether you could travel to the Maldives on a budget until we visited. What makes this an attractive destination to the common traveller is the affordable accommodation it offers. So if you're happy to compromise on five-star resorts and dining, yet still want to explore local Maldivian culture, cuisine, marine life and more, then this place is definitely for you. Next on our list, we'll be taking you to the edge of the Laviani Atoll to our luxury boutique resort, Fushifaru. <laughs> It's one of the smaller islands north of the capital Mali, where you will need to take a 35-minute scenic flight via seaplane to get there. Get on our seaplane. 
Whilst a seaplane will cost around $450 US per person for a return ticket, the flight itself is one hell of an experience. Make sure you bag a window seat because you will not be able to take your eyes off the views below. If you'll be arriving from a neighbouring island like we were, then Speedboat is the most likely mode of transport. On arrival, we were greeted to a typical Maldivian resort welcome, something that is still so special to this day. What a welcome! Fuchifara itself is made up of a mix of beach villas and a selection of overwater villas. When we visited, there were actually only four overwater villas, but they have recently built another 14 where you can choose between a jacuzzi or one with your own pool. What we loved about Fuchifaro is that it is the quintessential meaning of a paradise desert island. Marooned in the middle of the Indian Ocean, fringed by powder white sandy beaches and the most turquoise waters you'll ever see, you can easily walk around the island in less than 30 minutes. We opted for a beach villa with a sunset view. Oh, look at that welcome. <laughs> Welcome home. With a view of the ocean and barely a hundred meters from the shoreline. The ocean is right there. Beautiful. But my favorite part of the room. What is this? <laughs> the room itself just oozes Maldivian luxury. The outside bathroom is just a beautiful touch and we couldn't resist organizing a flower bath on our first night after a pretty tough day of paradise. So Azim was telling us about this particular part of the villa and he was saying that it's quite traditional for Maldivian homes to actually have their bathrooms outside. So they're bringing a bit of tradition to Fushifari. There are so many activities on the island and as you can imagine, plenty that revolve around water. Depending on the season, you can actually go swimming with manta rays. This was our first time swimming with these beautiful creatures and don't worry, it is completely safe as they feed off the plankton in the water and will just gracefully pass you as you snorkel on the surface. To this day, it remains one of the most special experiences we've ever had. Other activities not to be missed is a romantic picnic on Fushifaru's very own private sandbank. Wow, look at this Stunning. cute setup. Wow. We're gonna be stranded here for the next few hours, darling. <laughs> That's okay, I'm okay with that. <laughs> it's only a short five minute boat ride away where you're left to yourselves to eat, drink, and sunbathe your problems away with this romantic setup. This is the setup. How cute is this? We have wine, wraps, corn on the cob, fresh fruit, all the goodies and a beautiful view. Like many other resorts in the Maldives, there is an in-house spa located in the heart of the island. You'll find so many different massage and relaxation therapies on offer. And dare we say, it was one of the best massages we've ever had. And we've been lucky enough to experience a lot in different countries. The snorkeling around Fushifaru, especially towards the end of the water villas, is just magical. The water there is also pretty shallow, so it's perfect even for beginners. Just remember to keep your feet off the coral as they are so delicate and need to be looked after. And if the ocean isn't for you, the resort has one huge infinity pool with an amazing view over the beach and ocean. And right next door is a pool bar, perfect for sipping on those afternoon cocktails. In total, we stayed for three nights at Fushifaru and would have happily extended for longer. The activities were great, the food was freshly cooked each day and the staff were absolutely amazing. We have a sneaky feeling this won't be our last time visiting Fushifaru. Bye room. Bye room. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> so last but not least, this brings us on to our final resort in the Maldives, the Intercontinental. The Intercontinental is everything you expect luxury to be in the Maldives. It opened in 2019 and we were one of the lucky few to visit during the first month of being open. The island is located in the Ra Atoll, so you'll need to arrive via seaplane for Male. You are mesmerized by the beauty of this resort as soon as you land. We walk around everywhere and just have to like blink a couple times to really take it all in and believe that we're actually here. <laughs> Expect a traditional welcome that is now commonplace for resorts in the Maldives and walk along the jetty to the reception area as you try and soak in the experiences that lie ahead for the next few days. Upon arrival, you are paired with your very own island curator, who you can call upon at any hour of the day. 
Your curator will show you around your villa, check you in, book any restaurants, activities or excursions you want to do and just simply be there for you during the day. After your welcome refreshing drinks, your curator will take you to your room via a very scenic golf buggy ride. We were staying at the far end of the resort in, yep, you guessed it, an overwater villa. And well, just wow. Well, welcome. The room was insane. One of the most luxurious places we have ever stayed. The bed is absolutely huge with views out to your very own infinity pool. By this point, we could just barely contain our excitement. We've been falling asleep with this view and pretty much have been leaving the curtains open because, wow. Look at um, that. <laughs> As you would expect with any luxury resort in the Maldives, you have a range of villas to choose from. Since we were working with the resort during our time here, we were given an island tour of all the amazing accommodations on offer. We had a one bedroom over water villa with our very own pool and stairs that access the ocean. Depending on how much money you had, you can really go luxury and stay in any of the big overwater residences available. And yes, they are insane. Our absolute favorite was definitely the three bedroom over water villa at the very tip of the island. There is a lagoon in the middle of the resort, which is actually the biggest lagoon in all of the Maldives, with one or two bedroom lagoon villas adorning one side, which all have their own pools, and one or two bedroom beach villas on the other side, again, with their own pools. The top part is, the whole floor is the master bedroom, and it has this insane bath that sits right at the window, so you can just have a bath, look at the ocean. Watch the dolphins Watch go the past. Watch the dolphins and the fishes go by. Does it get better than that? I don't think so. Now, let's talk about food. There are seven different bars and restaurants on the island to choose from, from relaxed bar settings to more intimate dining experiences. So the spa itself is out of this world. Each private room is located in its very own water hut with 180 degree views of nothing but blue ocean and the biggest huge round bathtub you've ever seen. So we've just made it to the spa. I feel like I have to whisper because it's so peaceful and quiet here and all you can hear is the ocean. It's the best thing. So they just came over with a tray of oils and cream and they asked us to pick what scent we want. And James almost just dropped it. <laughs> so we've made it into our couple's massage room and we're just about to get changed. How was it, darling? I'm so relaxed, I don't want to move. <laughs> Best massage you've ever had? Best massage I have ever had. That was amazing. You can arrange snorkeling tours via the diving centre or there is plenty of areas around the resort to have your own swim and snorkel all by yourselves. Overall, we spent three nights at the Intercontinental and there is easily enough things to do, to see and to eat to extend for way longer on this beautiful luxury island. So that rounds up our three incredible places to visit in the Maldives at three different price points. As we said at the start of this video, there are thousands of islands with hundreds of different resorts and hotels to stay at, all with their own unique style, activities and ways to share this incredible part of the world. There truly are no words to describe this place other than paradise and we wanted to show you that it's possible to enjoy the Maldives at all budgets and still have an incredible time. We'd love to know if this has made you think about potentially booking a trip to the Maldives and of course we'd love to know which one was your favourite. If you like this video and want to see more roundups of places like this in different countries then let us know. And of course if you hit that like button it means so much to Alex and I and if you want to stick around for the next video then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you guys on the next vlog.